One of my listeners in Missouri, a patriotic firefighter, sent us this footage of a FEMA commando demonizing the founding fathers and Christians to a group of police and firefighters. What are Christians and patriots? The new Jews? It didn't work because think about the Christians, okay? Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? You no. Know, what did they do? They took your head off. They beheaded you if you didn't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. See, this is reality. Yeah, they're terrorists, but the bottom line is to them, they are not. Now, why is that important to understand? Because they are as committed to their cause and to their way of life as you are yours. And they see you as being wrong. That's very different. When people are passionate about what they believe in, they become a very difficult enemy to be. Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <clears throat> Who? Founding Fathers. Yeah. Founding Fathers. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul Revere? Yeah. Yeah. These guys right here, let me ask you something. Did they try to scare people? <laughs> oh, yeah. They tried to intimidate the British. Did they try to, did they use acts of violence? Your founding fathers, my founding fathers, were involved in acts of terrorism against British officials because they systematically had British officials assassinate, assassinate. The guys who we call our founding fathers, George Washington, Mr. Honest, who cut down a cherry tree and admitted it, is the same guy who signed death orders, if you will, on members of the British government, the British crown, who they wanted to eliminate because politically they had influence in certain pockets of the United States, at that time the 13 colonies, and they wanted to divide and conquer. They may get a whole lot of civilians, and hey, let's, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? If they kill 10,000 civilians tomorrow with a biological agent, that's too bad for them. Yeah, so what if they kill 10,000 civilians? You know how these patriots are. They're always killing civilians. So what? We've just got to take care of ourselves. Talk about demonization. If anybody's going to kill 10,000 civilians, it's the feds. All the evidence shows it's the feds killing people. Here's Bush signing the USA Patriot Act that literally eviscerated the Constitution and Bill of Rights. Section 213 delays warrants. It means they can sneak in your house for any reason, take whatever they want, and never even tell you they were there. But you're like, oh, that's okay. There's a sunset clause. Well, if you look at that subsection, all of the key areas that violate your constitutional rights, there are no sunset provisions. Out of 1,016 sections, 802 has to be the most frightening. You see, the definition of domestic terrorism is anyone that is involved in acts dangerous to human life that are a violation of the criminal laws of the United States or of any state. Under their definition, jaywalking is now a terrorist action. This is an absolute outrage. The people that pass this legislation, in truth, are the real terrorists, the real criminals engaging in sedition against our constitutional republic. Congressman Ron Paul said that none of the Congress was allowed to even read the bill and threatened by the White House that they wouldn't be patriots if they didn't sign it. He said the founding fathers revolted over much lighter forms of tyranny. Unfortunately, we may not always be able to tell you why that agent or agents are knocking on your door. Is there a chance that some of your civil liberties may slip while we guarantee the security of this country? Maybe.